Right now, the U.S. Department of Transportation is launching an initiative to completely upgrade the National Air Traffic Control System. Adam Tuss shows us how. Showing off existing air traffic control equipment, U.S. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy didn't hold back. You might think that I went to, to the Smithsonian and pulled them out of the Smithsonian to show you what they used to use for air traffic control. I didn't do any of that. This is actually the systems that our air traffic controllers use to keep our sky safe. It is old. It looks like it's out of the 70s and 80s. Now, President Trump called into this conference, having just wrapped up his own news conference at the White House. He talked about how this new air traffic control system will be accomplished. We'd like to give out one big, beautiful contract where it's, uh, you know, they're responsible for everything. Well, the plan calls for new wireless, satellite and fiber technology, hundreds of new radars and new air traffic control centers. Currently, no company has been selected to build this and there's no money appropriated for it yet. But it will take billions. Secretary Duffy with a big ask from Congress to give all the money up front so it can be accomplished in three to four years. Meanwhile, family members of those lost in January's deadly mid-air disaster at Reagan National Airport in attendance. I also asked the Transportation Secretary if he's frustrated by the recent close calls between helicopters and planes at Reagan National. I want to make sure that the airspace is safe. And when I have a breach of minimum separation, uh, between helos and, and fixed-wing aircraft, that concerns me. He did say his staff and Army staff have been talking, and he called Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth a friend. The Transportation Secretary also acknowledging that the country is short about 3,000 air traffic controllers, so there is an urgent need to fill those positions.